A-B testing sends two versions of your email blast to measure which version receives the most engagement from your recipients. This video will walk you through how to create a variant and send a test email. Create a variant. Begin by creating an email blast. Add recipients, select a theme, and then navigate to the content tab. The content tab is where you will enter the content of your email blast and set up your A-B test. You can test one of two variables email sender, that's who the email's from, or the subject line. Note that you will test sender A and sender B from the same broadcaster. Both variants will be sent from the same email address but listed with different sender names. Choose a variable to test. Click the Add Variant button above the appropriate text box. You can only test one variable at a time. A second text box will appear. Enter content for the two test variants. You can remove the variant by clicking Remove Variant above the second text box. If you remove the variant, you will lose any content entered into the text boxes. Enter content for the body of your email. Click Save Content. The preview of your email blast will refresh and update with your changes. Send a test email. Within the Content tab, you can choose to send a test email by clicking the button above the editor. Send yourself a test email by entering an email address in the text box. Pick a variant from the drop-down menu. Click Send Test Emails. You may send yourself more than one test email. Edit your variants at any time by returning to the top of the content section of your email blast. Remember to save your changes. Review and set up your test. Review your email within the Review and Send tab. Both test variants will display. Select the percentage of recipients you want to use for the test. Sliding the handle left or right will adjust the size of your testing groups. The remainder will receive the winning variant. Recipients are randomly divided into these three groups. You cannot select what group a recipient will fall into. You can have your blast send automatically when the test completes by checking the appropriate box. Please note that you can only auto-send if the test can calculate meaningful results. Therefore, you must have a large enough sending population and let the test run the full recommended time. The ideal total population is upwards of 21,000, but you can test with fewer recipients. You'll just need a larger test segment and more time. For example, with 13,000 emails and a 72% test segment, it'll take 6 hours to automatically select a winner. Alternatively, you can instead opt to pick and send a winner manually at the time of your choosing. Select Open Rate or Click Rate from the drop-down menu. This will determine how the winner of your test is selected. You will see a suggestion for how long your test should run. This is the amount of time needed to conclusively declare a winner based on data collected. Factors that affect your test length include the size of your testing groups, smaller groups will need a longer test, whether you selected open or click rate, click rate will require a longer test, you may choose to extend the length of your A-B test, enter a number into the provided text box. This will add a number of hours to the minimum test length. Longer tests are more accurate, so you might consider this option to extend the length of your test without increasing the size of your test groups. The total length of your test will display a notification below the settings. Begin your A-B test by clicking Send A-B Test Now. You may also schedule your A-B test for a future date. Your test results will display on the preview screen of your email blast. You'll be able to track when it was sent, the email stats, and the time remaining in the test if you selected automatic sending. Send your blast. There are three ways to send your winning blast. You may elect for automatic sending. Select the appropriate checkbox while setting up your A-B test. When the test completes, the winning variant will be sent to the remaining recipients. If the test is inconclusive, variant A will send. Schedule your blast for a future time and date. Select the date and time for your blast to send. You may edit the date at any time by clicking on the blue link with the date and adjusting the information. Manually send the blast. While the test is in progress, select the variant you want to send from the drop-down menu and click Send to Remaining Recipients Now. After the test is complete and the winning variant sent, the results from the test and final send will remain accessible in the dashboard of the email. You will also be able to see the stats of the email at Broadcaster, Email, and Blast.